Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, we're glad to have you here with us. In this week's video, we're bringing you along with us as we explore the greater Vancouver area. Angel's goal for this video is to shoot a video while doing things that he loves. And as you can see here, he's riding his bike not only because he loves doing that, but also to reduce his carbon footprint. Here you'll see Granville Island, a shopping district that is located across from Falls Creek in downtown Vancouver. This island is home to 275 unique businesses that generate over 215 million each year. Of course, that is before COVID and now since some businesses are closed, that statistic is not up to date with current situations. The Splash Park is now closed for the season, but the public market is open from 9am to 6pm, 7 days a week. And although parking is not free, this gives you more of a reason to ride your bike down there. With multiple sprays and fountains, the Granville Island Water Park is a Vancouver favorite. Open weekends from the Victoria Day Long Weekend. Butterflies. While exploring the area, be sure to check out the variety of art studios and shops located all around the island. From abstract art to sculptures, we are sure that there will be something for everyone to enjoy. Granville Island Public Market was established in 1979 as a location where farmers and other food vendors could sell to consumers. It operates year-round in an enclosed facility where customers can purchase fresh produce, meat, fish, seafood cheeses, and other products, many locally sourced. There are generally 50 vendors in the market. Coming here for a relaxing morning could be just what you need right now. Here we can see Angel relaxing by the water while enjoying a fresh chocolate croissant and a latte. Now let's head over to Yale Town. Yale Town is in an area of downtown Vancouver, approximately bordered by Falls Creek and by Robson and Homer Streets, formerly a heavy industrial area dominated by warehouse and rail yards. Fun fact. Yale Town was actually home to Canada's first petrol station, which opened in 1907. Oh, yes, of course. It, hmm? Now we are arriving at Minami, a stylish eatery specializing in Japanese sushi. Angel ordered miso soup, which he enjoyed because, and I quote, it wasn't too salty. He also ordered Ebi Oshi sushi, which he described as having a creamy texture with a hint of lemon flavoring. After lunch, a nice walk to English Bay to relax and enjoy the ocean air could only make the day even better. This is definitely a favorite destination for walkers, runners, cyclists, and rollerbladers. Fun fact! In the late 19th and early 20th centuries, English Bay Beach was home to Vancouver's first official lifeguard, the legendary Joe Forte, who taught hundreds of the city's early residents how to swim and patrolled the beach from his cabin on its shore. Today, the waters of the bay are often dotted with hundreds of small pleasure boats as well as huge freighters waiting to anchor and load cargoes at Vancouver's port.
Now we make our way back home, happy and content with the day's adventure. Thank you all so much for watching, we hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to check out our social media in the description below as well as like and subscribe. See you all next week.